I started telling the egg story in my workshops a few years ago, and I got the sense that people were just humoring me as they sat there nodding their heads as if they understood the message. So a few months ago, I recorded a video to show what I was talking about when I told my story of the egg. And then people were gasping in excitement as they saw the concept come to life in front of their eyes. So apparently word has spread. I've been getting loads of requests to share the video and the story. So here you go. You see, I credit the egg for my ability to see light and understand how light will shape an object and create shadows. Now, credit also goes to my junior high school art teacher and a retiring high school photography teacher who both felt that I had some promise as a young photographer and went out of their way to give me some guidance. While I was in ninth grade, I was given the assignment to photograph an egg. I was told to take five pictures of an egg, but wherever I decided to place the egg, I was not allowed to move it. It had to stay in the same place for all five shots. Now, this wasn't for a grade. I was told it would make me a better photographer. Now, I thought this was the dumbest thing I had ever heard of. I had no intention of doing it. What did I know? I was both young and dumb. And while I had some talent, I really had no clue how to use it. So about a week later, my mother woke me up early one Saturday morning. And as I walked into the kitchen, she was making eggs for breakfast. There was an egg sitting on the kitchen counter just under the window. And the rising sun was streaming through the window and casting a long shadow across the countertop as it flowed over the egg. It was at that moment the assignment began to make sense. And it was at that moment that I understood the importance of being able to see light. This was a defining moment in my development as a photographer. I understood the importance of the egg. Now watch closely as the light travels slowly around the egg. You may want to replay this part a few times. Watch how the shape of the egg changes. Watch how the shadow shape and depth changes and the shade and tone of the background changes. In the second example, the light simply moves from front to back, beginning at the camera like an on-camera flash, and traveling over the top of the egg towards the background. Now do you understand the importance of the egg? If you are going to photograph the human form and face, the lessons the egg teaches us are invaluable. One last piece of advice. Just because you watch the video, don't think you completely understand it. You will learn it better by doing it. Go and get an egg out of your refrigerator and grab a light. A simple light bulb will do. Move the light around the egg and over the egg and watch the magic happen. Once you see it with your own eyes, the lesson will stick forever and it will change the way you approach lighting. And when you're done, go ahead and cook some breakfast. In case you're wondering, I like mine scrambled.